A Johnston man heads to court one day after police find an arsenal inside his home. Nicholas Colacone was arrested and today he faced the judge on several charges. When they came in to arrest Colacone, they uncovered a list of evidence. Revolvers, rifles, a shotgun, knives, clubs, brass knuckles, even a bulletproof vest. On top of that, they say he had drugs. And on the walls, Aryan Nation, white supremacist, and Nazi flags and banners. Nicholas Colacone, a.k.a. Bruno the Doberman, he swears that he is not and never was a government informant, white supremacist, or neo-Nazi of any kind. I have never been in my life on my dead father's soul, rosaries in my hand, have ever been at any kind of white supremacist meeting, gathering, or ever even met one of them people in my life. We got Bruno when you were with Bruno. So on another note, uh, Bruno got a strike last night. Uh, Bruno, Bruno. He was 14 Hart and Bruno. These two anti-Semites. Can you play Bruno's song, I'm Not White, I'm Jewish? I mean, Bruno got a taste of it. And he took me to downtown Providence and I met some people and I named the Jew to what turned out to be a, a, a mobster under FBI surveillance or something. Bruno, uh, the Doberman. Bruno, thank you, man. Bruno, Bruno. I've no, uh, don't you think the FBI and them people would know if I was part of some group or anything like that? Or where's these group members? He said he had contacts with them, right? Oh, I got secret contacts with them. They told me this. Why aren't they on your channel, Chris? Why aren't you bringing them up? And, and there was another guy, Bruno. I heard uh, somebody say thank you, Bruno. Somebody with a dog. Yeah, Bruno, it's us. Our group yeah, is basically some way. of the best <laughs> internet trolls. You ready? Yeah. Yeah. Very good. Wow. Some of the things right, we've Josh. done. The department received a, a tip through our tip line relative to a, a, a convicted felon being in possession of some firearms. We also discovered 18 improvised explosive devices in the bedroom. ATF and the Rhode Island Bomb Squad helped with the arrest and search. The ATF and the JPD came to my house. Any idea when federal authorities are planning to move forward? I actually can't confirm that as well. Mr. Colicone got a letter from the Department of Justice to that effect. Oh, a good journalist. Listen, Chris Casparosa, very good at looking things up. He's no dummy. He knows how to look things up and, and with, with uh, legal stuff. And Chris won't put a fake wire out on people.